Big Sync Productions. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about the top three House of Siage fragrances in my opinion. Now I would always walk past these fragrances, but they would always catch my eye because the packaging and the bottles are so beautiful. So I decided to give them a try one day and I have fallen in love with this house and with their fragrances. I ended up getting a sample packet and from that um, over time I have invested in three bottles and these three bottles are the fragrances that I think are the top three in the signature collection of the House of Siage. So let's go ahead and start with fragrance number three. All right. Oh, before we even get started on that, let's talk about their presentation. So their presentation is phenomenal. I don't even have words like it's it's so beautiful especially for someone like me like just it's really pretty and I don't know let me just show you <laughs> Here it is. so it's white and it has silver lining all around it but uh, what I really love then back up here is that um, there is a magnet in the front of the box and you just you can slip that open like that and the bottle sits nice and pretty. I think that's getting washed out. I don't know if you guys can see it. But the bottle sits nice and pretty inside this box here. As a matter of fact, let me try to get closer. <laughs> the struggle. So you guys can see it. There it goes. All right. So that's how it sits in the box. And then inside of the box, it comes with a wiper to wipe the bottle down and then a card to congratulate you for spending all that money. So that is the presentation, and I, I love this presentation. It's, it's really nice. It really is. All of the bottles look like cupcakes. So let me show you guys this really quickly. So they all look like this. They all look like little cupcakes. The caps are all gold, and then they are handcrafted with Swarovski crystals. So there are 158 Swarovski crystals handcrafted on the bottle there. They are so pretty. So they all look like this, um, but they're all different colors. All right, in addition to that, let me open this up. That is one, I say downside to it, like I'm scared to like open it and break it. It's kind of hard to open. But once you do open it, this is what the inside of the cap looks like, so it has House of Siage inside of the cab, and then the name of the fragrance is listed here on the bottom. And they also have it on top of the cap as well. All right, so that brings me back to talking about my number three fragrance. Let me get comfortable again. So this one is called Cheveux d'Or. So that means golden horse in French. I'm not sure why they called it golden horse. It doesn't smell like a horse <laughs> or gold. But in my opinion, this one smells like a strawberry candied rose. If you can imagine what a sweet strawberry candied rose smell like, this is what that smells like. And every single time I wear this fragrance, it literally makes me smile. It puts a smile on my face. It's so unique. I've never smelled anything with strawberry and rose. Like, just think about that, strawberry. I've never smelled anything with strawberry and rose put together. And it is so, 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 so well done. I love it so much. And yeah, that is number three. And honestly, I don't know, I, I can't really say I, I can put these in any order to be honest because I love them almost equally. Uh, maybe except for my number one, but I, I they're all good, <laughs> honestly, okay? But anyway, so as a number three, this one comes in at number three. All right, let's head on into number two. We're gonna just slide that right on over. 
All right, so this one is called Cherry Garden, and I'm gonna try to show you guys this bottle so you guys can see it. Hope you guys can see that clearly. So this one um, is just a clear bottle here. It looks yellow, and then it's adorned with um, white Swarovski crystals. Um, again, they all have 158 crystals. So that's that one. Uh, this one, amazing. So this was actually the first um, House of Siage fragrance that I purchased and I loved it so much. I remember I sprayed it on the card. Um, I left it in the car. I came back in the car and that was all I was smelling. I was, it was just intoxicating. It was so, so, so good and I had to get it immediately. So I did impulsively <laughs> and it was worth it. Um, so this one is a very soft oriental floral scent in my personal opinion. So if you can imagine being in DC or in a garden with those Japanese cherry blossom trees with those beautiful petals, that's what this fragrance reminds me of. It's so, so, so good. Um, the sillage is amazing. And I think that's why they call the house of sillage, the house of sillage. The sillage is amazing on all of the fragrances that I've tried so far. And this one does not disappoint. So that is my number two house of sillage fragrance in the signature collection. All right. And coming in at number one, drum roll. All right. Bam. It is this bad boy right here called Passion de l'Amour. So that means passion of love. And I'm gonna show you guys the bottle. This is getting hard getting up and down. I need to figure out a better way to do this. <laughs> um, so yeah, there is the bottle. It's really pretty. There's um, this teal green color at the bottom and it kind of like transitions into this yellow here. So I think that's so pretty. And then of course on the gold cap, there are green Swarovski crystals, 158 of those. Oh, so this fragrance, Passion of Love. I think that name suits it very well. I am passionately in love with it. It is an amazing fragrance and it smells like, if you can imagine a caramel soft cookie cake, I don't even know if that is a thing, but if you can ima imagine, imagine, imagine a caramel cookie or a caramel cake, uh, just that goodness of it all, like that's what this smells like, in my opinion. It is so, so, so good. I don't even, I don't even know if I have words. <laughs> this one is so amazing. I have never smelled anything like this um, either. And I'm so happy to have this one in my collection for sure. It is one of my um, all time favorite fragrances. I get compliments on it all the time. The Siage of course is spectacular. It's monstrous. It lasts a long time and I just love them. I love them all. They're so pretty. Like look at, just look at how pretty that is. Let me, let me push that closer so you guys can see that. Isn't that pretty? Like I love that so much. I, I, I just, I love you guys. I love it. Um, yeah. So those are the top three House of Sillage fragrances in the signature collection in my opinion. I did get a box of samples from them to smell every single one in the collection. So I'll list some of some other fragrances that I thought were really good in the collection um, if you're interested in the description box down below. That concludes my take on the House of Village and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.